welcome back to Handy Andy. Um, today I'm going to be rep uh, recording another session working on the x carve enclosure. Um, I just finished putting it back together. Um, I mounted back up the controller that controls this unit and yeah, I ran into a problem. Uh, let me show you what I did and then we'll uh, go into it a little bit. Most of this is probably going to be all fast forward video just so you guys, guys can see what I've been doing. All right. So what I did right now was this back panel needed one more coat so it has a nice coat on it and then I went and coated this edge and this edge and this edge and that other edge with some so it looks nice so that's all nice and dry now but I mounted up the controller here and I can't take the latch off so what am I gonna do I'm gonna move it up just a tad bit I mean it's just barely not making it there so uh, that's it for that. So I got the controller kind of sort of mounted. It's having some clearance issues, so I'll fix that later. Um, but I need to start getting this mess of wires reconnected. Um, there's a lot of extra wire, so uh, I'm going to start cutting. Uh, one thing I need to do though is I need to make sure that I label all the ones that have labels because, well, earlier when I ran these, the labels fell off. So now I'm kind of screwed. Um, not really. Um, I'll uh, hook up a multimeter and I'll be able to see which of the limit switches, that's what these are, um, is limit switches. Um, what you see me doing right now is I'm braiding these back together because they unbraided and I don't like unbraided cables. So I'll bring them back up. It was all pretty when they're braided. I have a trick for braiding cables like this. I'll have to show you guys later. So, um, this one little cable though I'm going to leave alone. Um, it's for the sensor probe that you saw me mount earlier. That has to go in there and we'll be good to go. What's cool about this though is that on the back of here you see these green things that are sticking out. These are actually nice little junction box thingies that I can uh, See there, you can uh, you can screw them in as a terminal. They're terminals, uh, release terminals. So all the stepper motors uh, have the terminals, and then uh, the sensors have uh, much smaller ones. But so uh, it's going to be easy to work with. One thing I'm going to do though is after I cut these wires, I am going to tin them. Um, I'll make sure I record that because a lot of people don't know what tinning is. And then uh, in another video I'm going to show you the enclosure with the top and it gets all closed up. Um, it gets really dark. Um, so I'm going to put some LED lights um, inside the case so that way we get some uh, light in there while the machine's running. Um, and I'm going to recycle an old uh, 12 volt uh, LED light bulb that I found. Okay. What? What? Huh? My little dog. Come here. Yeah, let's see. He's little. Hard to see. He's very little. That's Link. He'll be in the background once in a while. You can't get in there. No. No. Alright. I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Alright, so I went and I stripped all the wires. This one 
and this one over here see they're all stripped and ready to go so I'm going to start tinning them um, what I do is I use this painted up exacto uh, call it the second hand I always forget the technical term for it but I put it there so the two wires see that yeah, so there so these are the two tips and I want to uh, tin them basically I'm just going to put a very small layer of solder on it um, I'm using some of my old solder so it does have lead but it's what I had um, just put some on and turn away. All right, and that's it. These are done. I don't know if you can see, but they have just the smallest bit of solder on them. And now they're ready to go. They're nice and stiff. If you compare them to these, they don't look too different in color because they're, they're uh, coated. But uh, I'm going to keep doing that, right? There we go, all done. Now I'm gonna go do the next ones. These ones are copper, so you should be able to see, you know, they're nice copper colored. I'm gonna tin these so then I'll bring it back up to the camera and you can see what they look like. And there you go. You can see now they're silver instead of copper color. Um, and now they're nice and hard. They won't fray apart. And when I stick them inside these terminals, when I put them in here, they're going to be have really nice contact. And now via fast forward. I'll see you guys when I'm done. So I finished all of them. That's all the cables. Uh, now uh, it's getting kind of late. It's uh, six thirty. I need to go make dinner now. Been working out here for about an hour and a half. It's about as much as I can do after I get home from work. Um, so I'm gonna do this tomorrow, but I need to wire up all the the stepper motors and wire up all the limit switches, um, and then turn this bad boy on real fast and make sure it's working, and then start working on getting the the solid state relay and the air cleaning system all hooked up all right so that'll be it for now so with that i ask that you guys i think i'm going to put a little subscribe button right here um and then you know go ahead and click like and share with your friends if you can please um uh, i'm going to be posting a lot more than just just the hex carve project this is probably taking the longest because it actually needed it's the biggest and needs to get out of here um, or at least get a better place in the shop. So with all that again Please hit like share with your friends and subscribe With that handy Andy over and out
Thank you.